Thank you, Madam Speaker. This week there was some disturbing news about members of the House. One of our finest, longest-serving members, Mr. La Tourette of Ohio, a Republican, announced he wasn't going to run for re-election. He said he couldn't run for re-election because of the gridlock and the difficulty getting things done. He was for income, revenue, not for Grover Norquist's pledge that most of the Republicans have signed. And because he was for revenue, which is what the Democrat plan is in taxing the wealthiest and most uh, blessed financially in this country, he gave up because he said you couldn't get things done. That's a shame. People ask why is there partisan gridlock. This is a perfect example. The two sides agree that people making 200000 a year or married couples 250 should get continued tax breaks. We should pass that as the Senate did. We know that can become law and guarantee those tax breaks. The difference that we have is whether people making over 200,000 single and 250,000 married get tax breaks. They will get tax breaks on that amount of income, but not on the income over that. I've been blessed in my life and I've had sufficient monies to do the things I want, but I've never made $250,000 a year. I consider that a lot of money. On the Democratic side, we call that middle class tax cuts. The reality is, in my perspective, it's upper middle class tax cuts and middle class tax cuts. The only people at the top who are having to pay a little more are the very wealthy and predominantly millionaires. When I grew up, millionaires were somebody who had a net worth of a million. Today, it's somebody who makes a million. Rock stars, business tycoons, bankers. They can afford to pay it. They're not spending that money. We need Americans who spend their money to stimulate our economy. We need purchasers. So that's why I'm against the Republican plan and for the Democratic plan. It will activate our economy. I yield back the balance of my time and thank the lady Gentleman's for the time. Gentleman's time's expired. Extended. And the chair will advise in South Carolina that he